I tried to have a place and an experience that, that I would most want as a camper. And that was the way I did everything. Number one, I didn't want cabins. I wanted big white tents. I thought that the, the um, back to nature thing was, not, was put on if you had electricity or running water in cabins. So I, I still to this day, we have big white platform tents. We have third and fourth generation campers. Uh, and the camp has had a fabulously successful um, kind of being for, for girls uh, all over. Uh, we draw from about 23 countries and about 28 states a summer. Everything is simple and yet it's a complicated camp, I realized, because I became very aware of the importance of spreading the camp experience throughout the world and having our campers experience it. So as they got older and had gone through the years of camp with us, then we invited them to go on certain trips. And I was privileged to open up camping in America to the Soviet Union. And <clears throat> it was a, an interesting circumstance, but nevertheless, we were privileged to do it. And in 84, we uh, had a youngster go to the Soviet Union named Samantha Smith. There's a bit long story about her in this country. And later, the Soviets were allowed to come to us. We were the first place that any Soviet children came to in 63 years in this country.